space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Booby Prize, its five-year mission to sell T-shirts, toy phasers, plastic communicators, and anything else we can think of to seek out new life in old plots and complications to boldly go where everyone has gone before. Captain's log, stardate 6935.2. We are in orbit around the planet Schwartz. Engineering to Captain Jerk. Engineering to Captain Jerk. Jerk here, what is it, Snotty? Captain, the warp drive mechanism is generating excess antimatter. The pods are overloading now. If it continues at this rate, I can't be responsible for the safety of the ship. Don't have a spaz, Snotty. Ah, but the whole ship's gonna blow itself to pieces, Jim. I want answers, mister. Well, I tried shoving a wiener on the warp drive, but it didn't do a bit of good. By the by, would you have a wee bit of mustard up on the bridge? Mr. Schlock? No mustard, Captain. Analysis, Schlock? It would appear that Lieutenant Snot is about to eat a wiener without mustard. As always, your logic is impeccable, Mr. Schlock. However, I was referring to the emergency in the ship's warp drive. I would say that the program is at too early a stage to permit solving any serious difficulties, Jim. Recommendation? Suggest you wait for further plot complication before undertaking corrective measures. Logical, Mr. Schlock. Perfectly logical, Dr. McCoy. I'm a doctor, not a scriptwriter! Warning, this is a plot complication. Warning, this is a plot complication. Warning, Plot complication plot showing up on ship's sensors now, Captain. I'm switching to visual. What is it, Mr. Schlock? Computer data is coming in now, Captain. It's just what we need. A colossal negative space wedgie of great power coming right at us at warp speed. Uh, Mr. Lulu, commence evasive actions. Yes, Captain Jack. Evasive actions ineffective, Captain. The wedgie is turning with us and closing rapidly. Estimated time of impact, approximately 16.9 seconds. 15. Bridge to engineering. Snot here, Captain. 13, What's not there, Snotty? 12, I said Snot here. Snotty, give me full power. Get us out of here fast. Ah, uh, I cannot do it. The toilet's are bumped up into the wall drive. It'll take time to make repairs. Time? Mr. Schlock? One. Wipe out. <laughs> Readings are off the scale, Captain. I have not encountered this phenomenon before. Damage report, Lieutenant Manura? The well, honey, I'd say we took a shellacking out here. Fascinating. What is it, Mr. Schlock? The force field seems to have passed through us and entered the surface of the planet Schwartz. Yet tricorder readings fail to indicate any such energy from the planet. Opinion, Mr. Schlock? Insufficient data, Captain. Into the elevator, Mr. Schlock. Let's beam down to the planet's surface so I can find an alien to fall in love with before the program's over. You usually do. Ain't I something? Uh, Mr. Lulu, you've got the con. Thank you, Captain Jack. Elevator, transporter room. I'm fine, how are you? Elevator, I said transporter room. I'm fine, how are you? Oh, forget it. Elevator to engineering. Beam us down from here, snotty. Aye, aye, Captain. You're locked on coordinates now. Energize, Mr. Snot. Remarkable. There is no record of any such civilization as this on the planet Schwartz. Look, Schlock, here comes a car and feast your Vulcan squinties on that driver. Far out, Captain Jerk. Oh, want a lift, sailor? As a matter of fact, I do. I'll say goodbye here, Mr. Schlock. Now you'll have what you always wanted, command of the booby prize. And you'll have what you always wanted. What's that, Mr. Schlock? A bleach blonde in red convertible on planet Schwartz. <laughs> Ain't I something? Well, say bye-bye to Starfleet Command for me and I'll see you on Hollywood Squares. Bye-bye, Jim. I thought he'd never go. Schlock to booby prize. Snot here, Mr. Schlock. What's not there, Lieutenant Snot? I said Snot here, Mr. Schlock. That's Captain Schlock. I? Make it one to beam up. Mm -hmm.